Everybody rules by ideology. The only people who rule by that are dictators. I mean, you know, Ayatollah in <laughs> Iran is ideology. We need a government that compromises and that people work together and you get a little. I mean, Dick, you knew that. You would go yeah. in and this county city councilman needed something and you'd find a way to make everybody as happy as they could be, not everybody. Well, we communicated, yeah. too. And it was now it's a brevity, you know. I think there was also a, a general consensus of what good government was and what the what the what the was good for the country or the city. And there was a story in the New York Times today saying basically, one side of the aisle believes one set of core values, and the other side has another set, and there's no common ground. Yeah, well, with How no do common you ground, forward? you don't uh, you don't solve anything. Right, <laughs> just mm. fight all of that. Mm. Mm. So, uh, so when you lo when you look at that, I mean, Dick always talks about the idea of you know people need to get into a room and, and find that compromise and move the country forward. I, what would it take for that to actually happen? Do you even think that's possible to go back to the times in which American government actually worked well? Yeah, I, I think uh, we. I think one of the biggest problems that I see is our primary system. You, I was living in California, and there was an incredible mayor in L.A. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name, Ryan. I want to say he was, and he, he actually lost the primary because to a much more conservative guy who then didn't win the governorship, and he should have been the governor of California, but he was not conservative enough to win a Republican primary. Same with some of the Democratic things. Uh, so it's very hard to find... We're seeing a system that elects the mm. edges and doesn't bring us the middle. Yeah. that's. I think that's our biggest problem, and I don't know is how that, to solve it. Is that like Jeb Bush when he says uh, you need to lose the primary in order to win the general? I think that's absolutely what he said, and you saw it. I mean, I think that's what happened to Romney in the last couple of elections. Mm -hmm. Probably a pretty electable guy, but he had to go so far to the right in the in the uh, you know debates it's and become, the primaries, it's become too clinical. I mm -hmm. mean, you're getting everybody's got advisors and say this, and you're taking a poll every day. This is what they want to hear. What do you mean they? That's that's the people that you love and you're trying to serve. And it's it's it's, it's crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. the more money you spend, the better. And you, what kind of ad are you gonna have on TV? And well, one issue will kill you. You know, you you can't. Yeah. The, the world can't live on one issue. And mm -hmm. oh well, that person's uh, for abortion or anti-abortion. Well, I can't vote. You gotta have, right? You know, yeah. Not everybody's going to satisfy everything. Especially today, that's even more important than ever, and, and it doesn't get there. Mm -hmm. and we'll continue our conversation with award-winning reporter, columnist for the Tampa Tribune and the St. Petersburg Times, Paul Wilburn. When we return here, this is the News Hour.